here's what I found. Um, see, like, the thing is, is that I speak to a human, and it tells me small talk, like, I mean, sometimes the small talk's helpful. Uh, if I'm flying in for a moment of, somebody pulled me here, I don't know why, of, like, do you know what's going on kind of a thing? But if I'm in my day-to-day and it's a small talk or sit and whatever, like, I really don't have much to say. Like, I'm enjoying being in the moment, I suppose. Not some more than others. Um, but, um, not, as I'm not at all. Um, let's think of this. So, one of the Legos, uh, we call it a square root of an ego, E-G-O, ego being the id, the I would say id, Iliad, uh, ego and super ego. Oh, right. You guys don't get Iliad? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, right. Ego, super ego, and the id. Right. That's an ID. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's like a subcommittee thing. All right. So, um, here's the thing. Uh, there is someone who, in this lifetime, in my star 1978, uh, they were like, okay, I'm like, why am I here with the two of you? They're like, well, this is for a cat-on. I'm like, right? They're like, well, we were told to tell you that we're in a cat fight. I'm like, right, this is like, okay, you, you know I really don't like cats, right? I mean, I just want to make that clear. Like, big cats, maybe, eh. You know, like, like, from afar, I like them, but, like, I'm not, like, I have to have one on a chain, like, some weirdo super pop culture star in... What the hell? Right, yeah, okay, anyway. So, right, cat-on, got it. Okay, so now... I'm like super science, I'm like paranormal science, I'm not like your whatever humans uh, on movie screen in New York. Okay, so now, um, right, okay, so one, I'm like, all right, so I'm in, ch- like, I was like record holder, I mean, again, because of where I sit, and mysti- mysticism and magically delicate, delicate, uh, I'm in charge of ombre, O-M, actually H-O-M-B-R, I think it's A-I-E. I'm also in charge of the children who don't even know what the word Jewish means, use it all sorts of incorrectly because their Eastern European ancestors uh, do not want to be associated with this New York version of shame and honor uh, amongst the what you have to look at every day they like to keep their image over there in what they get to see every day looking a little cleaner than what New York's get going on at the moment not anything to do with the kids that are here but whatever uh so no right there's a little too much Israel in the Jewish in New York uh for the uh Easterns at the moment but again I got trigger words and fighting words and people with necklaces that symbolically you seem to be akin, but like attitude wise, woo, like worlds apart. Um, and understanding of things. Okay, so, uh, like this, I'm in like cat fight territory. Like, it's like, come on, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. You got a New York minute, get it, good, 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 go. It's like, I want this freaking over with already. Um, I want to go back to being classy and peaceful and respected somewhere in magic territory, not this humanness of whatever this is. Um, saying that since I was three or four and I let, just landed or just arrived. Uh, I told Jenny that too. Um, all right, so I'm like, so here's the thing. Uh, there's a there's a couple in New York. It's just a few. <laughs> they are really upset because uh, they got Holocaust survivor syndrome of grandparents. Uh, so the children themselves woke up uh, and and arrived in a happy, peaceful, like beautiful New Jew York, where they could have made themselves so beautiful as a population and like really contributed to like. I don't know, educating me and creating something really pretty here. But that's not what they did. No, they whined, they complained, they're really fucking spoiled, arrogant. Uh, All I had to hear about was the Holocaust, how Hitler burned Jews, and I'm like, why are you bringing that here? Like, I mean, which one? Is, Is that like the, it's real? 
kids? Are we at A Z R I L E? I mean, am I doing mystic work? Am I doing war work? Am I cleaning my my Neptune prong? Like, which one? What am I doing here for you all? Because, like, I want to get the fuck on with my life, and so far it hasn't even started, because I got too much humanness throwing themselves in my fucking way. Um, let's think of this. Oh, so there's, like, these trigger words. So, like, the ombre that I have, uh, and the dinero kid. Uh, the dinero kid was like, listen, it really upsets me when people say the word blue striped pajamas. I'm like, that's your qualm? With my ombre? Like, we can't get over this? Like, this is what the new Fight Club... And, like, are the kids who actually survived the Holocaust? Like, they scrapped for food. Like, I mean, they're like survivor mentality. Are you appreciative of this version of your genetics? I mean, like, what the hell happened to everyone? Because they're fighting over words. You're like, yeah, okay, blue striped pajamas, right. You know there's a Steinbrenner somewhere. People pay, like, billions of bucks a season to go see his guys, all different genetics, wearing the same thing that are your trigger words, getting really mad at my ombre, or the ombre, but the more whatever. So, not, like, the less dress, I mean, but, like, respectful enough, like... But, no, like, uh, your Bizietica and Yenta in my, like, oh, my God, how do you explain, like, just, like, the scale of, right, okay, it would be acceptable to New York, let's put it that way, they'd be very, they'd are on the high-dressed scale of clothing up, so there's not too much skin exposed, but not enough that they're in, like, an ace bandage. Right, okay, so now here we are in trigger words, and nobody really gives a shit, because you're all in sewage, and it really fucking sucks in New York, and you failed God miserably. So now where do you want me to go with your future, and your children, and your afterlife, all area dumb fucking useless, that was really fucking nasty, and trapped me in this version of New York, where I got big biopharmaceutical... Um, purposely etching time and space in my face, my genetic, giving me scabs on my head, like, flying me through time and space so I wake up in, like, odd scenarios, and then I gotta, like, fucking catfight my way out of it, or talk my way out of it, just so, like, some Japanese cartoonist somewhere else could have, like, the next day's anime. And make some, like, coin off of it. And, like, all the government guys are, like, She's got a lot of enemies. I'm not doing this one. Well, she could be nice. Not in your lifetime. How many of those? I mean, like, they're on lists. Why am I the one who's actually fucking helpful, smart enough to ask questions, like, willing to do the work? Why am I being punished and all the fucking shitbag, lazy ass fucking kids are getting away with fucking murder? Well, I actually. That I'm okay with, but like, no, like, like the, they get to like drive around in like big expensive cars, big vacations and whatever the fuck they want. Why is that able to go on while I'm actually useful, helpful and like something way more important, but yet I'm being trapped by their shitty everything. And that's like across the board, like a uh, ombre that's kids mad about things that, right, get it, you two were involved, but here's the other thing, there was a Lego on that one, we put the ego equally on, Japan did it, and then Japan got, like, a big nuclear bomb, like, that was your cat's pajamas with the blue stripes, so don't get too angry at, like, Manhattan Project, like, you gave them two fat boys, two fat lips, got it, and then my ombre's over here. They're just sitting pretty at Auschwitz and hurting a few of your people because they don't like you. So where did we go with, we know what you did, we don't give a shit, and I really just want my cucumber. <laughs>